What's up, YouTubers? It's your old buddy, Hardworker12, and today I'm at Timmins Volkswagen in Long Beach, California with a 2022 Taos 1.5 TS. Today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to review this car. We're going to measure out the cargo space. We're going to look at the passenger room. I'm going to show you the features on it, and we're going to take it for a test drive. Now, as always, if some of that sounds boring and some of it sounds interesting, check the description below for timestamps. Now we're going to measure out the cargo space in the Volkswagen Taos. The length from the bottom of the back seat to the back of the cargo area, 2 feet 9 inches. The width of the cargo area at its widest point, 4 feet 1 inches. The width of the cargo area at its narrowest point in between the wheel wells, three feet, four inches. Now, one thing I did notice about the Taos, you can fold down the back seat for additional cargo room, but unfortunately it doesn't create a fully flat load floor. You do have a lot of room with the back seat up, but when you fold it down, you've got kind of a hump there so that's going to sort of prevent putting really long objects in at least easily however the total length with the back seat down from the back of the front seat to the end of the cargo area is a respectable five feet and the height of the cargo area from the rear cargo area so the taller point is three feet and four inches and the height of the cargo area from the back seat, when you have the back seat folded down, is two feet and eight inches. So you do lose about eight inches of uh, ceiling height over the back seat. And if you need to lift something from the ground up into the rear cargo area of the Taos, you're gonna have to lift it about two feet, four inches. Now we're going to have a look at the passenger room, and for this I like to use myself. I'm six foot five, so let's see if I can sit behind myself in a Volkswagen Taos. So as you can see, sitting in the front of the Volkswagen Taos, I actually have more than enough room here. I could probably even move my seat forward a little bit, but my six foot five frame would definitely be comfortable driving here. And when I get in the back seat, I can sit here. The seating position is upright and I do feel, you know, my knees are up against the seat just a little bit, but I could sit here for a crosstown journey. And anyway, how often do you have two people that are six foot five riding in front and behind each other? Now we're gonna start talking about the standard features on the Volkswagen Taos. And it's worth noting that on the Taos S, a lot of these sort of driver assistance features like emergency braking, lane departure warning, adaptive cruise control, those are not standard on the S model. However, this particular Taos is equipped with the IQ Drive S package, which does give you the adaptive cruise control with stop and go. It gives you the lane keep assist, the uh, semi-automated vehicle assistance in an emergency, which is essentially like an OnStar type of a system. You have forward collision warning and emergency braking and blind spot monitoring, all of that for $995, which is a reasonable price for that sort of equipment and sort of brings it in line with its competitors as far as both price and safety equipment. Now, as we move into the interior of the Volkswagen Taos, we do have several nice features on the inside as well. The Volkswagen digital cockpit with the digital gauges is standard. You also have the 6.5 inch touchscreen with Volkswagen's App Connect system. That's standard as well. That does give you the Apple CarPlay and the Android Auto. Uh, push button start is standard. However, you do still need to use the lock and unlock button on the key to open the car. You have to move to the next trim level up to get the full keyless access. And we have two USB-C ports for data and charging. Now let's take it for a test drive. All right, so driving the Volkswagen Taos. 
First impression, this is a peppy, happy little car. It just feels light on its feet, it's quick, rides nice. Apparently this has uh, got a 1.5 liter turbo engine in it, uh, which is gonna be replacing the 1.4 liter turbo that Volkswagen's been using like in the Jettas. And uh, it just wants to go. I mean, obviously it's not a hot rod and I'm on city streets, I can't uh, drive that fast or go that crazy. And I don't want to anyway, because this is a brand new car, so I'm gonna you know, refrain from redlining the engine so I can respect the break-in period for the eventual owner. But man, this is a fun little car to drive. It just feels happy. It just, you know, it's like a little puppy dog. It just wants to go where you want to go. The visibility out of the car is very good. Not a lot of blind spots to uh, speak of. And of course, this one does have the safety package on it. I have a feeling this is the type of car that will occasionally go to first time drivers or it's, you know, a first new car for a, a teenager, young kid. It's in, it's in an affordable price range and it's a practical car. And it's definitely, it would be an appropriate vehicle for that. You know, the first car to send your son or your daughter off to college in that sort of thing. Um, Cause it's not too expensive and it's practical and, um, it's easy to drive, easy to see out of, and safe. This sort of subcompact SUV segment, you know, with vehicles like the Taos, this one, the um, Toyota CHR and the Honda CRV. I don't know why they had to name those so similarly. The new Ford EcoSport, of course, the Subaru Crosstrek. You know, it's a relatively new segment. I think Subaru probably kind of kicked it off uh, with the Crosstrek, you know, whatever it was, eight or nine years ago now. Um, but these have really kind of replaced sedans as a lot of people's first cars, as the car to downsize to when the kids move out of the house. You know, this is this is really rapidly becoming the, the new normal in America. And a lot of the criticisms of a lot of those models is that they do feel underpowered, and they do. I mean, the worst offender, in my opinion, is um, the Honda HRV. I think that car is about to be redesigned. I haven't driven the newest, newest one, but I've driven uh, a 2020, and that car was offensively slow. The Crosstrek with the two liter engine, Eh, it's not the quickest thing in the world, but it gets the job done. But, you know, VW with this Taos and this little turbo engine, definitely this car has enough torque to where I don't think anybody will ever accuse it of, uh, of being underpowered, at least in town. I haven't taken it on the highway yet. But this car definitely has a solid feel to it. The ride's a little bit stiffer than a Tiguan. I have a feeling that a lot of people will kind of compare the two. Um, because they are similar in size and kind of similar in price. Uh, the Tiguan definitely has a smoother ride and does feel more refined. That's part of what you're paying for is, you know, it's a bigger car and it gives you a big car feel. But, um, yeah, I could see the, the Taos working for you. If you don't need a big car, if you don't need the, you know, little third row seat that the Tiguan has, this is a fun little car. All right, getting onto the freeway. A leisurely merge into traffic, dictated by current traffic conditions. But I've barely got my foot on the gas and it's already up to 64, 65, and I'm not even trying. So yeah, I think the 1.5 liter turbo is the way to go. The smaller displacement turbo engines that uh, give nice pep in these small SUVs, these subcompact SUVs. I think Volkswagen's got the right idea here. Very nice little car to drive. I'm impressed with the Taos, and if you're in the market for uh, one of these kind of subcompact crossovers, I highly recommend uh, checking it out. It might be the right car for you. 
you never know. Thank you so much for watching my review of this 2022 Volkswagen Taos. Please check out Timmins Volkswagen in Long Beach if you're looking for a new Volkswagen. There's a link to their website in the description below. And if you liked my video, please like and subscribe and have a wonderful day. Bye bye. Now as we move... Ugh.